What if a tiny accessory mineral could tell the history of millions of years? When physical weathering happens, the grains that are produced in a sedimentary basin have the same composition of the rocks they originated from. The study of the composition of the sediments, also called provenance studies, helps to reconstruct the tectonic, paleogeographic and paleoclimate history of when the sediment was formed. Provenance studies are widely used in the oil and gas industry to establish reservoir quality and also to reduce risks when exploring oil. What I want to know is, can I use the composition of apatite as a tool for provenance studies? Can I differentiate between apatites from metamorphic and igneous rocks just by looking at its composition? Apatite is a common accessory mineral of many rocks. It is formed mainly by calcium and phosphorus and can incorporate a big amount of trace elements in its structure. I study apatites from different kinds of rocks that come from Ireland, Scotland and also the Swiss Alps. Right now I'm focusing on metamorphic rocks of different kinds. To study them, first I need to separate them from the rock. To do that, I applied different techniques, crushing, magnetic separation, heavy liquid separation, and hand picking. The appetites are then mounted in epoxy. I analyzed 20 to 25 appetite grains from each rock using mass spectrometry, coupled with a laser ablation system. A small amount of appetite is ablated by the laser and then to transport it into the ICPMS to be analyzed. After analyzing the samples, I reduced the data and plotted trace elements results into chondrite normalized spidergrams. One of the results that I have so far is that magmatic appetite is significantly more enriched in thorium compared to metamorphic appetite, proving that appetite trace element data is an effective tool for provenance studies.